Uh, good evening, Zimbabwe. You're listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Wednesday, March 23, 2022. And this is Live Talk Diaspora Forum. I'm Jonga Kandemiri. And I'm Kip Stube in Maryland. We would like to inform our listeners that uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic, we are not able to give you our usual show and you will not be able to call in since we are broadcasting from our homes. Thanks for joining us. You are listening to Studio 7 Live Talk. This evening we are talking about the forthcoming council and parliamentary by-elections. What does this mean for Zimbabweans living in the diaspora? Members of the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change in North America and all peace-loving Zimbabweans are virtually coming together tonight to pray for the world of peaceful by-elections this Saturday. We are also going to look at the continued violence against foreign nationals in South Africa. Last week, Zimbabweans in Western Cape clashed with the Lesotho nationals, resulting in loss of lives and property. We'll also discuss the war in Ukraine. We know that uh, Russia invaded Ukraine a couple of weeks ago and is currently attacking cities in uh, some cities in Ukraine. So there are some Zimbabweans who have actually fled uh, to neighboring countries. These are Zimbabweans we are actually learning in Ukraine. But first, a look at COVID-19 in Zimbabwe. The health ministry reported yesterday that three people died from COVID-19, while 273 new cases were recorded countrywide. As at 22 March 2022, Zimbabwe had 244,958 confirmed cases, including 235,093 recoveries and 5,432 deaths. To date, a total of 4,500,045 people have been vaccinated against COVID-19. These are people who have received their first dose, Gibbs. Gibbs. <laughs> Ketuloma by elections. Gulama by elections end on as a hundred and thirty. Sia Kumbuluti, Gulama Councillor, Akos, so at a level in Buguma Councilli, while we are the more parliamentarians, Gumbegiti, Abamele in the SGN at a parliament. Abakos, so Amavanda, Anjang MTCT, the Progressive, the People's Democratic Party, so gave Kanya Zanu Babes, Gogutua, but the Lana do Chamisa. A Gulasus Kati, Uchamisa. A MTC alliance. Uko manje uko citizens coalition for change. So si abona jalo ke utukula banya batlala kona ngapa e diaspora. Aba fisa simili ubona kusiba lengu koko kule Zimbabwe. So ke si kuluma manje kula banya batlala kusele luguti utandazo na mtatamba ama utandazo luguti kume loketo or kule gileo. Kabona njalo kuti kwele South Africa kona ngale kuru waba la banya batu wake baki chinyiso waba kutabuke Zimbabwe. E, baki chinyiso waba batu wabelele soto North Atlantic Treaty Organization in NATO. So I Ukraine NATO. NATO Europe Russia. So that is what you find a conoco, spontis and a pinga conoco. You are called a footy jarro goti, a conamanges babu yame metega, Nkutan work of nineteen. Spontig, Gulabato of your two hundred seventy three, Ababa Jom Kutanilo, Elizabeth Loka Chigelele, a Santisolo Jupela, Kotogam Kutani, we have a ladder. So we love to five thousand four hundred thirty two, Seloka Kamura, Yes, so we name conoco, a coca and Akulam Tanjitum. And this was why you are terrible. Nas, which you don't watch it, which are not as Luxanga, never know Zimbabwe, Varakun, Zepenica, never Munica, Ched diaspora forum. A tributary, sir, in Yaya, the Saruzo, the Mapa elections, the Witcom Opera Quesondo, a Trons Gautikune, Zigaro, Snuana Vita, Andre three, Jema Kanzur, ne twenty eight, the Paramende, Zirku Kikizanwa, Muma constituents, Ganama two Nagasiana Siana. Panema Pato and one with a sixteen gumi, Nematana, two Arukipiza, Musaruzo, Izo, the Arima Patres, Matunga, Way Nika, in those that are out Tarris and Nasi, Tawana, Rakata, which is Zimbabwe, a mammy in Missangano, in Utters, and one with Yingangari, Missangane, Gumisira, Pamberipe, Saruzo, the Rukit, Katanswez, and PF, 
waita msangano wao kuchitunguiza uh, kuchiti huo uh, patore uh, citizens coalition for change uh, watanzuwa wachinzi warambizwa kita misangano ku airport kwa wanga wachitari suwa kuita ni kunge kutafara wa mbinge warambizwa kwa kara astu nga hoti mchongi wa daira major street azu utaiwa nga wa msangano kutafara nga wa ndire mberi uh, tichinzu huo mwame mapato atunwa taura onao mchirongwa jedu jino akafana ne patriotic zimbabweans takango wa shitaro kutawa wasatu wa sangana ne dambu tziko rekuna mbizu wa kuita msangana yao pataka taura nao uh, shondra pera waita rautayo isu atisikwele tukumbira mvumo kumakulisa wakana kwa ziisa tunungu ita misangano eh, kajinji kana tawa zonge tawa sangana wane dambu tziko rino so ya asipari kuna wangu wa satu wa sangana naro ya tichatari soja kare nyaye kushunguru tuka kurugu itu wano ya zimbabwe wa rumu south africa Tuchipa mkuru isi kwa kuru isi kwa shushara shesu. Zeku nzekwe nyika mu South Africa. Uh, Taka wana shonda rapira ku Western Cape. Uh, ku njimbe ya maprazi inonzi Robertson. Uh, Taka nzekwa kuti wanawe Zimbabwe waka ruisi kwa. Nesu shushara shekule sutu. Uh, wanawe vese wapakure. Wakuru ira gapu risirao. Warukuru isi na mnika isi yao. Uh, Wachitzingana imomo ni kutotore tano. Ndoji mwishirikiti kasaka wanawe Zimbabwe. Warukuru isi kwa. Warukuru isi kwa. Ni wana ve mu South Africa. Warukuru isi kwa ne we, kune zimwe nyika wakaita selu suti yi wawo nduwe yi mwenye ya tichatarisa tichatarisa u nyaya yao nduwe likuitika ku ukraine uh, pa msoro pezu tilikutarisa wakuti mwenyika ne zuro maka zivisi kwa kuti maka fawano watatu ne denda re covid-19 wamwe wanukwana kuita uh, mazana maviri re, ne makumi manongwe ne matatu wakawani kwa wai ne denda iruoli nduwe jimwe wakaitika ne zuro a uh, Gibbs itotanga edino kutarisa nyaya ye maba elections are quit kwa mkupera kwe shondo. Uh, taona batore citizens coalition for change uh, muno ma America. Uh, kana kutuku North America, du nore North America. Wachizi visa kuti vane muna mato urute itu kwa nasi maneru. Uh, unonzi uh, North America pamavi. Wekuna matira mkuti saruzo zirigu itu kwa zinge ziri muru nyararo. Uh, pa chilongwa chedu Gibbs we are joined by uh, Patriotic Zimbabweans President, uh, Mr. Charles Mutama, uh, who is based here in Maryland, and uh, Mr. Tawanda Jokora, a chairperson for Citizens Coalition for Change in North America uh, province. To gamchira mchira mwa chedu matishangu. Yes, wa mutama taura itinzwe. Tinote nda mkoma jungaka kandemiri na mkoma gives due. Thank you. Thank you. Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let's start with uh, Mr. Tawanda Tsukura. There is this prayer uh, tonight. So what is what is taking place? Can you give us uh, an update of what is going to happen? Tsukura, can you hear me? Yes. No, there's this uh, this uh, prayer meeting that is going to be there tonight. Tell us a bit about it. Oh, yeah. Um, Tirivan, we, we, Runyararo, Saka, Sakati, Gati, Gari, Pasi, T, Namatire, Babai elections. Kusawani, Kecheromunu, Mwechete, Anofa, Nenye, Mirijonga, Pasa, Rudzo. Pasawani, Kemunu, Mwechete, Anorowa, Kana, Kusungu, Rudzwa, Vanuwaende, Kuno, Vota, Pasina, Kusungu, Rudzwa, Pasina ku mbunye kizwa. E, izi makazu wana ozi chitaurwa ne mkuru wema citizens, president, uh, pastor Nelson Chamisa, vari kumashingo. Vaka taura kuti nasi musue chitatu, vanu ngava tanye, ngava namate, tinamate renyika, kuti tiende murunyararu. E, nyaya yire, gandu bananya tozi niza, haisi nyaya, Ye vanu wanopeka nguo ze yelo chete. Inyaya ye vana veseve Zimbabwe. Chokuto di muno ma Amerika. Taka unga ni zana. Newa fundisi. Wano vakuma pato waka siyana siyana. Vose waka taura kuti. Inyaya kanaka. Ngati gare ipasi. Tinama ate titanye. Kuitra kuti. Tiende tese. Kuno vota pasina. E, vanu wano kanganiswa. Muno zia sakaitika. Masondo akapera mboneni nguwe, haka uraiwa, e, vanu wanga wachungo sungwa, mazibaba, waka zambarazgo, waka rowa, waka kubazgo, msana weso uyu. E, muka ono wa mwanu, wanga wachungo sungwa, mbachikandu wa mjeri, pasina, sabani nge 
vakanganisa saka zvese izvo zvezvo ndo zvakazoita kuti titi sevana vezimbabwe gadigara ipasi timbopira kuna mwari kuti mwari vapinde mumwe yavo vanhu vose vari kuita zvesarudzo pasawane anoita pfungwa yekuponda kana pfungwa yekurova vanhu saka tukuti vana vese vezimbabwe nas izvo zviku zimbabwe patiri patiri kutaura pano e, ana president chamisa nevamwe nevana vese vezimbabwe vari kutoungana vachinamata asine kuda kwekusiyana kwenguva kuti vanhu vemuno ma America neku Canada vanenge vari kumabasa patotanga muna mato wekutanga tanga takatorara kuno kudzanga dzikutori kuma 4 am e, 2 am kuna na California saka vana ve kuno havana kukwanisa kupinda pamina mate yoyo tati ayo ngati square 8 tichizvinyima ngati square 8 akatsanya ipo pano and maneru tochizosangana tose sevana ve Zimbabwe tonamata saka kune kune nhimbe yema pasta anenge achuya achitaura 10 minutes voparidza vachingotaura nenyaya yoyo yekuti ku Zimbabwe kunge kune runyararo pasarudzo dzikuitwa muswe mugovera yes can you maybe in english as well just yes, uh, uh, we are responding to a call to act from uh, President uh, Pastor Advocate Nelson Chamisa, who made uh, the call at a rally in Mashingo, where he said uh, uh, Zimbabweans uh, should fast and pray. And uh, he declared that uh, Wednesday today should be a national day of uh, prayer and uh, fasting, praying and fasting for a peaceful election, non-violent uh, violent, uh, election, uh, an election where people can go to uh, the ballot boxes, to the polling stations and vote uh, without being intimidated, without a uh, fear of uh, being beaten up. And this uh, again is the background of what happened to Mbonen Nguwe in Kwekwe, who was murdered in cold blood uh, at a rally and uh, also following the uh, arrest and uh, also um, the beating uh, persecution uh, of um, Mazbaba, uh, one of our prominent uh, supporters uh, who uh, is in jail. I think I've just heard that uh, he was given a uh, bail. So we, President Chamisa just said, uh, let's pray as a country. So it's not um, a, 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 a yellow thing. It's a Zimbabwean uh, thing. Every Zimbabwean uh, is invited. Right now, as we are speaking, they are praying and fasting in Zimbabwe. But uh, here in North America, we could not join them because uh, the prayers were happening too early in the morning, uh, 3 a.m. here and uh, maybe 2 a.m. somewhere in California. So we said, uh, uh, let's uh, fast the whole day. And then in the evening, we gather as Zimbabweans. Uh, it's a nonpartisan thing with uh, uh, over 10 pastors uh, from ac across the political divide uh, and everyone else, uh, inclu including my, uh, my, my brother here, Mr. Mtama, uh, and yourself as a VOA. Please attend. Uh, let's pray uh, for peace uh, in Zimbabwe on the 26th of March uh, and thereafter as we uh, vote in the by-elections. Thank you so much, Mr. Jokora. Mr. Mutama, your party is participating in the upcoming elections. What's your word, your final word, before we get to the uh, touchline, which is on Saturday? Oh, we are calling upon all Zimbabweans to show up and um, exercise their democratic right to choose uh, any political party of their choice according to the constitution of Zimbabwe, which gives them that uh, God gift and that constitutional right to choose the leaders of their choice. However, as participants, we have uh, uh, reservations. Uh, and we locked our our colleagues in Triple uh, C for arranging uh, this prayer. Uh, for the Bible says, "Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord." And uh, beyond that, as a political party which uh, believes in in in, um, in dialogue in uh, uh, in civil uh, political engagement we joined other political parties in uh, in the uh, in the opposition in zimbabwe in general before well before 
this election uh, date that there should be a convergence of all political parties including the traditional giants uh, uh, political parties uh, the MGC which is now triple C uh, ZANU PF and all other political parties so that there can be a discussion around the issue of acrimony polarization politically motivated violence in Zimbabwe so that our elections can become non-partisan and can become pro-Zimbabwe we are one Zimbabwe we cannot suffer violence outside Zimbabwe like what is happening in xenophobic attacks in South Africa and we cannot suffer violence in our own country politics is not the business of inflicting violence on one another because we differ on political affiliation on political ideology but politics is nation building therefore with the national reclamation assembly and other political parties we beseech all political parties triple c zanu pf mdc alliance national uh, constitutional assembly and any other political parties that we come together in dialogue as zimbabweans because zimbabwe comes first and our interest as zimbabweans supersede partisan political party interests therefore we should sit down and discuss these issues and come up with a code of conduct which guides our elections and even elections that we are going to participate in so that there is peace in the country so that we can begin the process of building zimbabwe as zimbabweans failure of which we have our regional leaders in our continental uh, countries that we can consult so that they can mediate the problems that we have as zimbabweans but at the end of the day the only people who can solve the problems that we have that are either political or eco economic in Zimbabwe are Zimbabweans in the diaspora and Zimbabweans within the country. So, yes, prayer is excellent, prayer is welcome, but we also need to sit at the table as Zimbabweans, there's political parties that are participating and those that are not participating in the by election. So that 2023 which is upon us is going to be elections about transformative development about the unity of zimbabwe and the development of zimbabwe on a non-partisan basis but which is politics which is ideologically based politics of ideas politics that moves the country forward politics that is inclusive politics that allows the diaspora to vote so we bemoan the absence of the diaspora vote in the elections that are going to be held on the 26th and we look forward to our parliament uh i think uh we have uh, lost mr yes there. it seems it seems as if we've lost him yes we, uh, yes. yes we have we are we have now uh mr regis Busango charumbira of zanu pf gibbs go ahead and uh Welcome. Yeah, Lapo Charles Mutama, Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, thank you, Senator. Yes, so uh, it's only a few days before the parliamentary and council by elections. Give us your take on what's going on now. Thank you very much. Uh, we just um, had our massive uh, Chitungiza rally this uh, this afternoon, Zimbabwe time, where all people in St. Mary's in the whole Harare was there listening to His Excellency the President. I would want to also appreciate what he did for people in Chitungiza. 
uh, he had a ceremony where he had uh, drilled some balls there and uh, left the water running with all Jojo tanks and all that uh, for the people there. He promised that he will make sure that there will be more balls to be drilled by the machines that uh, the drilling machines that he sourced from uh, outsourced from India. And uh, as a fact, we know that uh, there were this garbage roaming around the streets. Uh, there is uh, contaminated water from uh, uh, from uh, pe people's steps in Chitungwiza as a result of the dilapidated infrastructure caused by the so-called MDC together with the CCC um, uh, characters in our political arena. Hello, hello, Mr. Vusango, we can't hear you. Yeah, I think you are slightly uh, hello? cut off a bit. So... We can't hear you, Mr. Vusango, go ahead. Mr. Fusangu, uh, maybe let's go to Mr. Hello, yes, our greetings, Governor. Yes, I, I want to congratulate uh, Mr. Fusangu and the ZANU PF uh, for completing the ruralization of uh, Zimbabwean urban areas. Uh, you are seeing uh, a, a whole president uh, celebrating the opening or the drilling of a boreholes in urban centers. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's not a way we should be going. You know, the government, through the local government ministry, is responsible for creating dams and ensuring that we have water, not just a boho water, but tapped water. Uh, unfortunately, in Zimbabwe, we are now having to resort to having boreholes in cities, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's indeed unfortunate. Takuto Pemberera kuwe nema rambi, nema kendurum towns, other countries are busy right now making sure that there is electricity in the rural areas. There is internet in the rural areas. There is taped water in the rural areas. Uh, but uh, uh, that's not what we are seeing in Zimbabwe. We are going backwards instead of going forward. We are going 20 years backwards. And I think uh, you've heard... Uh, President Chamisa in all the election rallies that he has been addressing. He, he was uh, pointing at the uh, issues that we are having right now and also proffering solutions, uh, making sure that uh, when we come in, Zimbabweans, Zimbabwe will be moving forward rather than going back. Uh, we shouldn't be having that. But anyway, I don't want to uh, go too much into, in, into that today. It's a day of uh, uh, praying. It's a day of fasting. Uh, so... I just hope that uh, uh, our prayers will be answered and there won't be any one life uh, that, will be, uh, that, that will be lost in these uh, by-elections and that there won't be any one person who is going to be persecuted, uh, beaten up, uh, as we saw uh, with the attempted murder of, uh, uh, of uh, Mazibaba. That was attempted murder. That person could have died. And uh, we don't want to see anything like that. Uh, we thought... Zanu PF would be at the forefront of uh, making announcements to the effect that uh, we should not be having violence. Uh, but uh, of course, Zanu PF has been uh, at the forefront of uh, making sure that there is violence. You saw, you heard what uh, Vice President Chuenga said that uh, Triple C and President Chamisa should be crushed. And immediately after that, there was an escalation of violence everywhere. You know, uh, 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 violence begets violence. If that the top leadership of a country of uh, ZANU PF go around encouraging violence, it means the youth, it means uh, everyone else in ZANU PF will become violent. So we hope in the next two days, in the next uh, day or two, we are going to hear a serious pronouncement uh, from uh, government, uh, making sure that uh, we pave way or there's a uh, you know uh, 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 a free, fair, and peaceful by-election. On Saturday. Yes, uh, uh, I think we're joined by another guest uh, right now, and that is Mr. Ntanta Moses Nube of Freedom Alliance. Mr. Nube, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. How are you, uh, gentlemen? Oh, very fine. So, give us your take on uh, you know the forthcoming by elections. Um. Uh, th thank you for the opportunity. Uh, like we have uh, 
um, always alluded to the fact that uh, uh, these by-elections are a way of, of ZANU-PF trying to measure uh, the waters for, for 2023. Um, even the violence that you are seeing is just a microcosm of what uh, we, we should expect. And uh, it is also the opportunity for people to, to tell lies as a uh, as uh, my esteemed um, uh, brother there, uh, Vusango is uh, is busy projecting ZANU as a successful party, as a progressive party, yet it is not. In, in 42 years, the failure of ZANU is clearing. What he should be doing, he should be having the morality to say uh, we have failed, but we are still trying while we are failing instead of him uh, portraying uh, ZANU as succeeding. Uh, it is unfortunate. I, I think it is fortunate today because that day I couldn't respond to the, some of the things that uh, he, he was actually saying. We do not expect people um, who come here uh, perpetrating propaganda. What should happen is that in the 21st century, we expect people who come here admitting where they have failed and uh, promising, if ever, saying we want to improve, but we have been failing. But now they, they, they are using Mugabe as a scapegoat. Uh, everything now is attributed to the, hey, there was the first republic, there was that, this one is the second republic. The second republic way, because we are well away, e even if Busango we, we, was to change his surname and become Nube today, uh, are we going, can it be, I mean, his failures, can they be eradicated and then attributed to a new person? He, he remains the one. Uh, the president of ZANU is somebody who has been there since 1980. That is a fact. No, no sane person can, can dispute that. And he has failed as well. He needs to be advised. Not even advised in private. He, he, Vusango should be telling his party right now, giving them the, the proper advice on, on what they should do. Uh, this violence, um, look at Zambia, all these other countries, they are peaceful. Zimbabwe. They should be ashamed of the failures, of the behavior that they are doing. They are even teaching young people violence. Because now uh, everyone uh, is now thinking of politics as, as a, a violent uh, arena, even women. Uh, are, they are saying women should be 50-50. But they are busy beating, insulting women. How is that a 50-50 uh, gender mm. parity to be achieved? It's not. Yeah, yes. I could clarify in the way of the Yes, city, we are done. 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 Obu ya lapa azofuna uguti atemi zanu aibuge zengati liba nda ele nza kashiru na lisenza kata. Gumele bakufunde kono kukuti bakuzane labo bekuzane. Abu melanga bazi bakuzo iti kupe. Gumele bakuzane benze into ez kondileo. Sebe se kakatezi soku kuchwa umkabe yetuwa e, ngongongota kabona kui hibo abebe abe sebe nza lai. Konko kubuka tegusenzu wa umkabe hibo abebe kwenza. Uvu sango la banka nba kabe zanu kumele bavume ikinizo. Bafundu kuti bakuza bako keli babo. Babe lule la pabe kilega kwa. Aba kokeli la bana wea kanyi kuti vele kabala plan. Labu kuti babambe nga pibache nga pika bakwasa. Kube so kusura wanto manja abo uvu sango. Aba pizi beba chocho zela beba chaye la makwele. Beba buga be siti kona beba raiti. Kona kunge kona raiti. Siti ku intuwe mbiloko ilizwe. Ga ilizwele uguti kube la banta baza fundisa abantwana ukuthi kuhloni kuya hlonitshwa ngala ku politics kuhlonitshwe omama omama akabangeni ke nje ku politics e indaba zona lezi unganandzelela umuntu osengena ku politics kumele abe ngiwezana ukuze ukuza nge sithi into embi kakhulu yona le kumele uphela umkhuba wona lo sibakuze nsuku zonke ovusango laba nganibani yeah briefly mr vusango your reaction then we go to mr charles mutama hey, go ahead mr vusango thank you very much i don't think uh... <clears throat> Anyone can lecture SANPF uh, as far as politics is concerned in Zimbabwe. We welcome any input, but lecturing, you cannot lecture us because we are the mother party. We are going to win this by-election. 
whether whoever likes it or not, you can use your funny examples, but we are going to win this, uh, this by-election with a resounding victory. We are going to move on and win the 2023 election and put back our president, Comrade Hidim Nangagwa, back in office until 2028. That is going to happen. If you, are, you, you like it or not, whether you are in Zimbabwe or you are not in Zimbabwe, that will be the fact. That's the president we are going to have until 2028. We have done everything possible to make sure that he comes back in power. He, his record is very set. He, we have done a, a development everywhere. Now, when, wherever our president is going to address a rally, he does not just walk freely like what your leaders do. They go to Machingo, for example. You don't even give people freezes, not even bottled water. You walk in there in the stadium empty and you leave people empty. You can't do that. Our president is very well equipped when it comes to politics. He knows that whenever he visits people as a father of the country, he leaves something, he commissions something, and he has been doing that. So the record is there, and people are there to vote for him, and he will be voted into power. That's exactly what is going to happen. So I, I don't know what, uh, what, uh, what the CCC and all this. Yeah, I think uh, he has been cut off, but uh, people were actually questioning the credibility of somebody going to officially open a borehole. So if a president, I don't know whether that's the duty of a president. Mr. Mdama, uh, can you chip in there? You know, we saw the president uh, is said to have uh, gone to officially open some poll or something like that. So at the end of the day, does this mean that the Zimbabweans are at that level of officially opening polls and not going for big projects? Mr. Mutama said. I think I think you are muted. Your your mic, your mic has got some bit of a problem. You may be muted. Can you can you can you try again, Mr. Mutama? Yeah. So go ahead, Mr. Mutama. I think uh, you had some challenge on your on your microphone. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Quiet. Yes. Quiet. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dude, and my apology for dropping off on the panel uh, earlier on. Yes, my, my, my comment uh, with regards to development in Zimbabwe is that uh, as patriotic Zimbabweans, we are looking forward to a scenario where Zimbabweans in the diaspora begin to be recognized and to be given that platform where they can economically contribute and not become a source of revenue second to foreign direct investment considering that zimbabweans in the diaspora are contributing close to 20 billion dollars annually which is making sure that the economy stays afloat so as, as a political party we are proposing the zimbabwe diaspora bond which we hope will be used on a non-partisan basis to develop our infrastructure so that we can develop uh, the supply chain and boost the supply chain in Zimbabwe. So those are the big projects that we are looking forward to, which we can then transfer through a build on and operate a, a, a system where we can move to mining, we can move to energy, we can move to agriculture. So those are the big projects that we should be talking about instead of talk talking about balls. And also resuscitating our urban areas through the same process where the diaspora can partner the private sector and the government can superintend uh, those projects and ensure that the diaspora becomes part and parcel of investment and economic drivers in Zimbabwe. So it's unfortunate that now our urban areas we are using ball and you know our rural areas we are using ball. When we have a situation where uh, the parties that are running our urban areas and the party which is running central government, there is no cohesion. We want to ensure that there is cohesion between the opposition and the ruling party. Whichever party is in charge, there should be cohesion, which means we need to review uh, the local government uh, institutions and how they, they, they work together between the opposition and the ruling party. Toxicity and polarization is what has affected 
our, our development in the urban areas and even in the rural areas. We need to have political parties that can be able to work together. The same way we, we witnessed in the, in, in, um, in the Western countries, the same way we, we, we witnessed in the East, there is cohesion in national development. The problem of political polarization is what is a uh, stalled development in our urban areas and in our rural areas. So as Patriotic Zimbabwe's party, we want to make sure we bring this culture of non-partisanship in national issues. Certain issues are partisan, but when it comes to matters that affect ratepayers, that affect residents in our urban areas, and that affect residents in rural areas, are non-partisan. The issue of food, the issue of security, that has been alluded to by Mr. Jokora, is non-partisan. The issue of peace is non-partisan. We are Zimbabweans, we are one. The issue of xenophobia that is being suffered by people in the diaspora is non-partisan. The issue of the diaspora uh, enjoying their inalienable vote is non-partisan. Therefore, we need to come together as Zimbabweans and iron out these issues at the dialogue table so that 2023 will be free, fair, inclusive, and credible. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Zogora, do you think uh, that's, that's, uh, that's possible to have free, fair, and credible elections? In Zimbabwe, I think your your, your mic is muted. Uh, maybe our maybe Chongaga will open it, so you are muted a little bit. So can you go ahead? Let me uh, quiet. Sir. Yes, uh, I said. Uh, uh, can you hear me now, Mr. Dude? Okay, thank you. Uh, there, there are there are a number of fundamentals that have uh, to be addressed uh, before uh, we can talk about a free, fair, and credible elections. Uh, first of all, is the issue of uh, electoral reforms. Uh, that's a national issue, like uh, uh, Mr. Mutama is saying. That's one big fundamental national issue that we all have to address, not as C, but uh, as uh, all political parties. Uh, but it goes even beyond that. As Zimbabweans, as citizens, we all need to fight, stand up and fight uh, for a level playing field. And uh, this is uh, what we've been uh, talking about. We have a war paper that we have presented to uh, the Parliament of Zimbabwe and to the government of Zimbabwe uh, to ensure that uh, those electoral reforms are enacted. And uh, even uh, himself, Emerson Munangagwa, when he came into power, he went around the world promising uh, free, fair, and credible elections to the effect that uh, he uh, agreed uh, when he was asked here in America by uh, uh, Mr. Dan Moyo whether he was going to uh, enact electoral reforms. And he said he was going to do that. But up to now, Emerson Munangagwa and ZANU-PF have not enacted one electoral reform. So in the absence uh, of a fair ZEC, in the absence of a free and fair press, uh, where Mr. Mutama can go and talk, where Mr. Chamisa, where any political leader, where any political member can go in to ZBC or ZTV and campaign and talk uh, then we're not going to uh, have a free, fair and election until every Zimbabwean, every political leader can uh, travel the length and breadth of uh, Zimbabwe and campaign freely. Because what is the purpose of declaring by election? What is the purpose of saying we are having elections in 2023 when you do not allow uh, political competitors or political uh, 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 leaders to go and address their people? It, it, it doesn't work like that. We need a level playing field uh, in Zimbabwe, and it begins uh, with uh, making sure that uh, electoral reforms are enacted so that um, you know, we, we, the Zimbabwean people can be able to uh, go and vote freely without uh, being uh, intimidated. One of the issues that we are trying to address uh, on, uh, on the issue of electoral reforms is the issue of uh, vote by and uh, vote violence harvesting that as ANUPF always does. They go to the rural areas, to the chiefs, uh, to the uh, sabuk and uh, other people and give them food towards any election. That is tantamount to uh, vote buying according to uh, international best practices in, in elections. So all those things have to go before uh, we can uh, dream of a fair and free, a free mm -hmm. and fair election. Mm -hmm. However, as Triple C, 
we have always entered into these elections and people wonder why uh but uh, we are a democratic party we believe that uh, will take power through uh elections so we get into the elections fully knowing that uh, the uh playing field is not level and we you know uh, uh do you. the best that we can and even against uh, all those uh, uh issues we have always won all the elections uh aside of uh, the vote rigging by zanu pf and uh, we are calling upon everyone every zimbabwean on the 26th of march uh, to show up if we, uh, we show up in our thousands that's one way of avoiding a uh, vote rigging zanu pf always discourages in a way technically they discourage people uh, from uh, uh, going to vote and uh, they have ways of uh, doing that but we are saying let's turn up zimbabweans and even us the people in the diaspora here we have a big role to play you know we are influencers as we are let's make sure that between today and saturday we call someone in zimbabwe to make sure that they show up to go and vote you know if i can just give you a brief uh, statistics of what happened in the last election five oh, maybe before people before people. you do that before you do that uh -huh. uh, let's go back to mr mutama uh, in, in in shona you know why do you think that in zimbabwe they won't be free and fair elections i'll give you one minute exactly just to say something in shona go ahead say mr mutama can you repeat that question mr Dui? yeah in shona wh wh why do people like mr Tokura think that uh, there won't be any free fair and credible elections in zimbabwe anytime soon you know Oh, did not see patriotic Zimbabweans party. Did not see Saru Zoidzi. Adina ku kutaro kan. Nena we kuti jisavizimu zimu makungwa. Adis kupi wamkana. Ugu saru zau tunga miro asinoda. Kunyango zau zuri kutumi ramari yori tati upumi wenyika windere mberi. Tuchienda ramba zvekare. Tinotari sauti Mugorera 2008. Panewe shaka wanwa pakati pemapato aitonga pangu wa iyo yo. E, Mangwacho achirimo anusanga nisira zanu PF ne MDC ne ya la triple C. Uti pane nyayaze shuma tunge rwe nyika sinuwe tari sira na nyayaze saruzo shuma dao gaziri iskwa. Kuti nyika endere mberi pasawe ni makakata anwa. Saka zinu yuzo ozo, tributa atira isuse patriotic Zimbabweans party. Tijishana ni mangu mapato, agaida se Zanu PF, agaida se Triple C, agaida se MDC Alliance. Ni mangu mapato wari kwa kuti. Kana tichinge da pinda mpari ya mparabende. Watunga miri ni wedu ni watigiri wedu wa nengu watunga miri wa ne watunga ne wanu. Kutu wapi ni mparabende. Nga wa gaziri ise. Nyaya izo ozo, zakanzi zi gaziri iskwe in 2008. Zima kakata anuwa pamsoro pesaru zo zetu za chuluguti isu pane zwakati ne zwakati 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 independence yes mbago electoral commission nenya ya ye access to eh, the national media nenya ya yeshe voters role nenya ya yeshe, ma, yeshe masaru zilo wane itua wana anona neshe, ma, neshe saru zomu zimbabwe shaka hizo zosu waku gaziri iskwa kutinika yadi yu eneru nyararu Pagati mama pato ese, do kuti titi beri chanda pango chete, tiri mu mudaare, repara mende, zikare tika tarsanya ya zipo zee inonzi politiko eta dialogue, tunona kuti ipato raga wambwa, kuzi kwa para mende, asi para mende ri kwa ino badarwa, e, mitero ni wanu Zimbabwe kuti iwanu kwe chita mabasa ya wae uga zirisa, makaka wari po, saatuna kuti susu, Dare redu re paramende, urumende ye tu, inowa, inosanga nisira, e, MDC, Triple C, ne Zanu PF, jiga ziri ise, makaka tano haripo, vachipata na nesu, mapato anopikisa, aliku unze kwe urumende, kutitiga ziri ise ilu. Sa tinote nda kuti, mukane yo yo kupinda mparamende, ndo uneta kutitua wani kwa chikuwa sao gazi sao sinizu. Sa langati gazi sao sinizu, Mapato angari mumpara mende, ari mumpara mende na nasi. Anupa nao gazirisa, nyewe makakata anuwa haya. Kwete kutu omirira e, saruzo. Nguwa ne nguwa te omirira saruzo, kutata o gazirisa shimu. Asinguwa yese, mune ayo yu gazirisa shimu mumpara mende. Doza, okay. tinochi isu sepatele kumbabwenzi. 
ni petition nataka iso shukari ye diaspora vote ya ku portfolio level ye legal justice and parliamentary affairs ina hui ya chata kupedesa kana makuru kota ye du wapinda mparamende wakata sana usaya kipanga wanasele chino matiki chino ten chino ten Mr. Vusangu, you've been listening to what uh, some people are saying here. So, your reaction, yeah, quiet. I think I think your mic is muted somehow. I cannot hear you. Maybe you're going to be unmuted by Chonga. Quiet, Chonga. Uh, yeah. I think I'm unmuted now, isn't it? Yeah, quiet, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, I think we, we, we like what uh, Dr. Uh, Chwenga said, that you cannot have your cake and eat it yourself. It's very correct. We have got a problem in Zimbabwe with uh, the characters of the Chamisa, whereby he wants to have everything for himself. And that doesn't work. He was invited to the political uh, uh, <coughs> dialogue where he refused. He said he wanted to have a, a, a personal meeting between him and the president. You can't have that. He, the political dialogue is for all political parties who participated in the just ended elections. And he, you, and you, you, you want yourself to say, no, I, 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 me and you, we can have only our meeting. That's the problem we have in Zimbabwe. I'm sure those uh, new political parties who are coming in, if you come in with that kind of attitude, we will continue to have your problems be unanswered. Because we as a political party that is uh, are ruling, we will continue ruling because we will continue winning these elections uh, with no problem. Because we don't have any contenders. Like we are going to an election with no contender. That's the the, 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 the the situation that we have in Zimbabwe. Right now, we are looking at these by-elections. Uh, the member of MDC here was complaining that we, 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 we want political reforms. Hence, you keep participating in these elections. Why don't you show integrity? Continue. You have gone to, to America to call for sanctions, and now you want that country to suffer. Now you are saying that, give me reforms. What reforms do you need? The reforms are there. If you don't want to, to participate in the election, just don't participate and see if that election won't happen because you are not the only political party in Zimbabwe. That's why the political dialogue continued because uh, there are political parties who participated in the election. But uh, Whether... Mr. Charumbira, before you go further, I wanted to throw a question uh, to you. Sure. You say that there are no contenders uh, in Zimbabwe just because uh, uh, CCC President Nelson oh. Tamisa requested to we have a face-to-face -face meeting with the uh, President Emerson Munangako. Is that what you mean? Yet at the same time, you are saying there are a lot of other political parties. No, oh, no, I think you didn't hear me correctly. What I said is, we, 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 they, they, okay, well, let, let me, let me rephrase it. Tamisa okay. is complaining. I mean, the member for MPC was you complaining. That... I don't know whether, what is, okay. your mic is moving when you are shaking your head or something. It's, uh, you break your, okay, right. Do you hear me now? Yes. What I said is, uh, we had just a member of the MDC here in North America complaining. He is a member of uh, CCC. CCC. They say complaining that there is no, I mean, CCC is an MDC, they are all the same anyway. He was complaining that there are no political reforms. And then I said, how can you continue to complain that there are no political reforms? And hence you want to participate in every election. Uh, don't you see that you are, foot, you are shooting yourself in the feet? We, we, we as MD, as NPF, we are the mother party. <coughs> Why when you go to an election, because we are winning and we have got a lot of supporters in Zimbabwe. It's like we are going to an election with no contender. The reason is because we have the support of the people and we'll keep winning these elections. What I added saying is, we, you, you can't, like what I said is, you can't, Chamisa cannot have all what he wants. He can humble himself and come to the political dialogue that was going to show maturity in politics. But if you are going to say, no, I will not do that. I want things my way. Then you know what? I would advise you not to participate in any election. Because you are already going to lose this election. And you are going to continue to outsource those uh, sanctions. But you know what? I, I feel like there is going to be a new world order. Where things are not going to turn to America anymore. They are going to turn to other parts of the world. Where we are not going to have one giant country trying to patronize other countries and try to, 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 uh, to, to, to undermine the sovereigns of other countries. You can go and continue sourcing your, your, your sanctions to America and see if Zimbabwe is going to collapse. We are going to continue building our country with or without those sanctions. 
And as ZANU-PF, who continue to win these elections, you went, you, you thought when we, when you put sanctions in our country, uh, people are going to turn against our government. There is no way, nothing like that is going to happen. Actually, people are turning against the CC. We, uh, today in Chitungwiza, we have got about close to 600 people who Thank have you. defected Thank from ZANU-PF to, from, from to FCCC and them, this ZANU-PF. Yes, because we are a party that is showing maturity and we are showing the signs of developing our country and progress. Thank you so much, Mr. Busango. Uh, Let me go to Mr. Ngube before we bring in uh, Mr. Jokora. Mr. Ngube, you have been uh, waiting for so long. Your take on what uh, these other gentlemen just said. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jonga. I am noting that they are beginning to rig uh, the discussion. <laughs> as we are here seeing. Yes, um, the problem that I'm seeing, in fact, the biggest challenge that we have in Zimbabwe is the unresolved uh, 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 genocide that happened. You find that people that are in power are people that were complicit in the genocide, and they would rather die in power uh, than uh, to, to, to leave power. You, you will find that even the problems with elections that we are having, we are having very old men and the women who want to cling on to power. They don't want even their, their children to take, uh, to, to take power. It's because of that, because they, they feel scared. Uh, they would rather die there. Uh, what we need to do as Zimbabweans, everyone should be uniting to say, let's have this issue resolved. That would uh, help us. Um, if you if you listen to uh, Mr. Vuzango, he, what he is talking about is the power on the president. It is the power on his party. There is nothing that is linked to development that he, he talks about. And um, let me uh, advise you, uh, uh, Vuzango, when you are a leader, even when one individual wants to talk to you, you give them the opportunity to talk to you. Mnangakwa should have given Chamisa that opportunity to talk to him. And then he listens to what he say. If he feels that there should be many people, then he should be doing that. We also believe that when there is dialogue, it should be an all stakeholders approach. Where not only political parties or people who, who actually contested Mnangakwa should be there. Everyone, the civic society should be there. Individuals also should be heard what they are saying. Yeah. We have had a, a, a faulty situation in, <clears throat> in um, 87 where two parties will come together, they tell everyone to follow them. That is a very bad uh, and wrong approach uh, to, to, to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you also talk about a doctor. Okay. Which doctor are you talking about, Mr. Mr. Uh, our time is running out. Uh, Gibbs, we yeah, we visit according to the village. We have one next five minutes to discuss the Ukraine issue. Yes, the incident development, Mr. Mube. Yeah, I'm after this. Yes, eh, is siya bonga kakulu. Si tu uwe shula uwe zinto ribo na gusupu keto ga isi loketo. Yinda ba yom putazwe e e shula yoba e saba abatara ba la ba funu fela es gulen yiku bana benga funa bantu abo vusango uguti kabange ne kona pan si tili zwe lo ngageli sale pansi gulumi zwe e i yinda ba yeku crowd iti gengi ngari kige iskati ngengi me kona yes so we're now we're turning to this issue uh, Mr Vusango we yes. only have uh, five minutes four minutes actually to discuss uh, the issue. Uh, in uh, Ukraine. What's your take on the current situation in uh, Ukraine, the Russia invasion? According to the outcome of the, of the, or the reasons why that war, we see that it's very unfair what uh, the United States has done. Oh, I, don't United know States... I don't know what is happening to you, Mike. It's going up and then very low. We couldn't hear you up and then it's low. Okay, give me one minute. Let me. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Thirty seconds. Okay, me... if you want to bring in that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Yes. Go so ahead. What Sorry. I was yes. saying. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Uh, uh, what, what happened to Ukraine? It's very unfortunate that the United States of America has left Ukraine in the cold. Oh, hence, they they are the ones who are propelling Ukraine to join NATO. And now when Zelensky 
was uh, was given all this power that we are going to support you when Russia come against you. Uh, now the war started. Zelensky is calling for help, and he's calling for help to nobody who is listening to him. His country is being destroyed, which is very unfortunate. I don't support the war. I don't support the people who are dying in Ukraine. But I, I don't support the United States with what they do. They shouldn't have done what they did to Ukraine. They should have not uh, tried to, uh, to attack Russia through the, uh, the invitation of, uh, of uh, Ukraine to NATO. And then when now they knew that the repercussions were that Russia was going to retaliate, they knew that. Russia already said we knew that they were trying to, uh, to build nuclear weapons in Ukraine. They were trying to do all these things in our backyard and we will not allow that. I think even America itself, they went to, to, to Cuba during the Cuban war when they tried to uh, stop Russia from bringing missiles, <laughs> I, I, nuclear missiles to Cuba. Thank what you. was the reason? Because Cuba was next to America and they didn't want any nuclear weapons in their backyard. Thank so you, the same thing that happened to Cuba is the same thing that is happening to Ukraine. Thank you, Mr. Vasango. Uh, Mr. Jokora, maybe Gibbs, you have a... Uh... Yes, Mr. Jokora, we also take on the Ukraine crisis uh, and the students that uh, were there uh, who are from Zimbabwe. What's going to happen to them at the end of the day, uh, briefly? Go ahead, Mr. Jokora. I think it's muted, Mr. Sokora. No, no, I was muted. I don't yes, know what to say. Quiet. Quiet. Uh, we can't hear you, Mr. Jokora. Yeah, I think it's got a challenge. Yes. So let's I go. Think to... it's yes. your, yeah, I think it's your mic. Uh, let's, let's go, go to Mr. Dama. Yes, Mr. Dama, what's your take on the Ukrainian uh, crisis? Uh, the situation which is obtaining in Ukraine is very tragic. Uh, we we bemoan the loss of life in Ukraine and we also bemoan the violation of sovereignty of the Ukrainian nation by, uh, by Russia. However, uh, as I indicated uh, in an interview earlier on, uh, on, on this platform, that the issues that uh, both sides are putting forward should have been discussed at a multilateral level, for example, at the United Nations, so that this could have been avoided. However, it is urgent that all countries in the world, and not the current blocks that we see in the form of NATO, and on the other hand, where we see Russia, are not, are, not, are not sufficient to solve this problem. This issue needs to be solved multilaterally by the United Nations so Thank that we can, have, we can have peace in Ukraine and we can save more lives in Ukraine and can, there can be peace and the respect of uh, Ukrainian sovereignty. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, when Zagala, a Ukraine is a Bonazanagi, you say Kuntegide, that they call Nakonapo Ultanta, a Moses Nova Assambon, Sponazano Kuntegide. Yes, I think, it's, uh, yes, I think he, he uh, slipped, but let's see. Yes, yeah. Mr. so yeah, come up. Yes, a uh, open Zagala, a uh, 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 Ukraine, Sibona, we into a uh, MB, a uh, Rakulu, Nova Tina, Jenge, Freedom Alliance, Simela, Ugutula. Inshanganiso ye tu ibu njwe ngabantu esi ngati nga ma survivors awe genocide. So si ngabantu esi kwa zi uti impi ibu thungu e, 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 impi into esa ibo nayo e, esa ipi layo la namtanje loke si kutuwa impi. Si kubona kegu into e, e mbiga kulu le enza gala e ukraine oku swele gile uge uti kukalwe pansi e, kukulu kwa ni mwaba si yazi uti impi nga zili wendani. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Gibbs. I think you can say the goodbyes because our yes, time is uh, up. Yes, thank you, Jonga. So uh, we end our show today on this note uh, on the Ukrainian crisis. We thank our guests uh, this evening, Mr. Charles Mutama, President of the Patriotic Zimbabwe Party, Mr. Tawanda Sokora of the Citizens Coalition for Change, Mr. Regis Vusango of ZANU-PF, and Mr. Ntlantla Moses Nube 
of Freedom Alliance. Signing off from Maryland, this is Kip Stube saying good night, Zimbabwe. Bye -bye. And I'm Jonga Kandemiri. Good night, Zimbabwe. Thank <laughs> you.